Hey Mod Renners, welcome to another episode of Modern Man. Today's episode is our very first wine tasting episode. Um, and the wine um, I have today is uh, from the Sonoma uh, County. Um, it's uh, the Anderson Valley Pinot Noir made by Walt. And this is their 2011 Savoy Vineyard wine. Um, it's a Pinot Noir, like I said, from Sonoma. Um, and uh, before we get into wine tasting, I want to talk a little bit about uh, the different ways I'm going to be doing my wine tastings. Um, I'm going to do my best to try and keep them short and sweet, um, but still kind of give you some information of what I think about the wine. Um, uh, I have a, a rating that I use. Um, it is uh, starts off as uh, kind of the, the base level is really not my taste, something that I just didn't really enjoy. Just everybody's tastes are different, so the, you know my base level is just not my taste. Then I have, um, it's okay. Then I have decent, and then I have good. Good is kind of right there in the middle. It's a, it's a good bottle of wine. And then I have very good, and then I have my highest rating, which I say oh so good. Um, oh so good is, uh, as you're going to see uh, throughout my wine tastings, uh, every time I drink it or taste it, I go oh so good. So that's my highest rating. Um, and today's wine is an oh so good wine. I picked this up in Sonoma uh, when I was there. Um, I did a Tastings at the Walt uh, Winery uh, in their tasting room. A uh, great little tasting room. Uh, the person who was pouring for us, um, Zeke, was fantastic. Super friendly. He poured us a bunch of different wines. And I really, really enjoyed um, the, the Walt Pinots. They're mainly known for Pinots. Um, but they um, have some other uh, wines available. So um, if you like Pinot Noirs, I highly recommend uh, trying Walt Winery in uh, Sonoma. Um, so let's get into the wine. Um, basically, um, I've already opened this wine up. Um, I tried doing a tasting uh, a few nights ago and the wine was so good that I just couldn't do the review. Uh, so I saved a little bit left. Uh, so today's uh, has been opened um, and it's been sitting in my fridge for a couple of days now. Um, when I first opened it up, it was um, pretty cloudy um, and um, I wasn't sure if it was just because it was sitting in my fridge for a while or if uh, something had maybe changed. So I called them up and I found out that all of their Pinots are unfiltered uh, wine. Um, I will probably uh, post a blooper reel at some point or maybe even I'll add a little bit of the tasting that I started on this wine because it was so cloudy. And, uh, and today it is, it is pretty cloudy. It's not as um, clear as you would normally expect from a Pinot and that's because it's an unfiltered wine. Um, that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the wine, just means that it's unfiltered and um, it's, for me it's about the smell and it's about the taste and I can already smell it. Yeah. <laughs> It's so good. Um, um, this is one of those kind of basket fruit wines. And when I say basket fruit, I mean um, like strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, cherries, those type of fruits that you're going to put inside a basket, not like an apple or a, or a plum or a pear, which are a little bit larger wines. Um, they also go in baskets, but that's what I mean when I say basket fruit. Um, so in future tastings, that'll give you an idea of what I mean by basket fruit. So this one, well, first off, we'll go with the look. And as I said, mentioned earlier, it is a little bit on the dull side. It's not as bright. Um, it doesn't kind of reflect the light as much. Um, but it's got a rich, really, really uh, dark red ruby. Um, it's even got maybe like a hint of purple to it. Um, it's a really rich, deep color. Um, the smell, I'm getting like the strawberries, the raspberries, but I'm also getting something a little bit heavier, like an almond smell to it. And once again, these are just my, my opinions. Um, red currant. Yeah. Um, let's uh, let's taste it. Oh, oh, so good. It's it's so rich. Um, it's very integrated, where it's hard to kind of pick out one specific specific flavor. But it's oh, so good. Um, I, 
Um, I also call it a hugging wine because when I'm at a party, I kind of hug it. So this is very much a hugging and an oh so good wine. Um, but yeah, you get your um, your uh, your your dark fruits, um, your dark cherries, blackberry. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, a little bit of kind of like a little bit of a uh, almond on the nose. Um, basket fruits. Um, so good. Um, yeah, that is the um, that is the Waltz 2011 Savoy Vineyard um, Savoy Vineyard Pinot Noir from the um, Anderson Valley. So that's my review of today's wine. Um, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Uh, enjoy a bottle of wine um, or whatever it is out there uh, you do make sure you find your passion please subscribe to the channel share the videos with your friends and um, have a great weekend cheers